Um, our next guest today on Central Kentucky TV, Channel 6, focus on Washington County, is our own Erica Campbell with the um, Community Theater, mm -hmm. Central Kentucky Community Theater. That's easy we to are remember Central Kentucky. We are in yes. the heart of it all. Yes. We're the heartbeat. Yes, of, we uh, are. Yes. And the theater makes Springfield a most livable city. There is something, when you move here with your family, there is sports at the high school, you're within an hour of major entertainment centers, and you have um, the sports at the high school, but you also have the arts here yes. in Springfield. It's given and my children wonderful life growing up here. Oh, that's, that's marvelous. Of course, your husband is from here originally, I yes, think. Yes, it's what Kentucky boys do. A yes. lot of them have to go out of state, find somebody to marry them, sweep them off their feet, and bring them <laughs> back to their hometown. That's exactly right. <laughs> uh, and you originally are from? Northern Indiana, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Okay. Well, a much larger town. Yes. But we are happy that you are here. Thank you. Because you have been, uh, like um, our other guests, such an attribute to our community and our county and particularly with your involvement in Central, Central Kentucky Theater. And for those that don't know, Erica, um, you know, our theater started, um, we just had the 10th anniversary. 2006 is when Getting ready to have our 10th anniversary. Well, and then the, um, so. And, and of course, the yeah. Opera House was uh, renovated and it was uh, all that perfect was timing, wasn't it? Under my, it's uh, fun to watch the hand of God in this. Yes, yes. So the, the opera house was renovated, looking for something to go on in it, and then the Fatizis came to town and started the theater in 2006. And after a couple of years, in 2008, we incorporated and formed a board, which is our, our present um, mm -hmm. Ruling um, and I believe you structure. were involved with this from the beginning. Am I correct? Yes, my my kids came in um, after the second. They had um, a sampler in the spring, show how to talk in rhythm um, and all different theatrical um, a sampler, theatrical sampler, and then they had the summer show Annie, and then my children were enrolled and they were in. Um, Dickens' Christmas Carol and Elves of Poppin. Gwenny, the youngest one, was in Elves of Poppin. So we were uh, there pretty much from the beginning. Well, and uh, now Charlotte, being your oldest, yes, um, who started in theater uh, in the uh, in was it in youth actors that she started or yes, she was older. Okay. She um, she started in um, Dickens' Christmas Carol. So did my son Wesley. And Wesley was in the youth actors as well yes. at that time. And Gwenny was in the bluegrass. And kids Gwen with was Elves of Poppin. Yes. Yeah. Because we have we have three um, different um, uh, groups. Yes. Being we have the, the main stage, which is adults, and you audition. You're all welcome to come play with us. We have very fun committees, and we also have you can just come in and and do what you want to do and hop back out of the fire. You're not, you know. You can do what you want to. It's supposed to be enjoyable. It's not supposed to be stressful. So um, if you are interested in getting your feet wet in the theater, there's the main stage. Uh, we have, we're finished with this year's season. We're just finishing Mousetrap this weekend, which was a very fun murder mystery. I um, should have been in that one. Yes. One we, we keep, she keeps saying she wants to have a small part in one of yeah. the shows. And every time <laughs> I, you know, say, this is a maid. She only has one line, and then Lisa's <laughs> too busy. But we'll get you yet. I will. Really. I am. I'm we looking will. forward to it. Yes. So we've got mm -hmm. the the main stage, and then we have youth actors, which is seventh grade to senior in high school, and they're a very talented group. And the, mm -hmm. what I like about that group of kids is that they really aren't cliquish. They're very welcoming to new people, new, new kids. Yes. So that's that's really mm -hmm. saying a lot. And I would like to mention with that also. Um, that how many uh, students have we seen, Erica, who have become stars and 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 blossomed? Yes. After uh, b getting involved in theater, that is the most wonderful gift. There's, they have all this talent at home, which you get to to live with parents. You know, your child breaks into song, and they're hysterical, so clever, so talented. 
And then at first they're very shy when they are, you know, not only in a new group of kids, but getting on the stage. But it's so invigorating when you're on stage and you come off of the stage and you're still alive. <laughs> and, and you survived it. And that empowers you. And it makes you so that you can talk in front of a group of people. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's, it just really, it improves their quality of life, their mm -hmm. self-assurance, their confidence, their, mm -hmm. um, the way they present themselves. It's mm -hmm. just all these wonderful gifts that and you get from being in a theater. And Good friends, too. Studies show that children who have been involved in theater and acting have, um, uh, I, I believe, educationally, their test scores are better. Am I that correct? That makes sense. I, I, I well, think I've read. if you think about it, too, mm -hmm. in, in the theater, you have to memorize all of those lines. You yeah. have to walk and talk and think all at the same time. <laughs> and, yeah. you know, to, yeah. to become a new person, a different character, mm -hmm. um, it's just, there's a lot going on. And it's a yeah. team sport because you're really um, depending on the other people yes. for your cues. Yeah. to get on and off and then when you're on stage and something dire happens you keep going right so it's it's you it get up you get up and try again you just you just keep going keep until going. you get to a point where you can make your exit safely yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then we have the bluegrass kids yes and those are second grade to sixth graders yeah and um this may 15th the weekend of the 15th they're doing xanadu jr so we'll go back to the disco era oh i love it olivia newton john <laughs> so and the um, next show for the youth actors is uh, starts um t for two weekends starts opens on april 17th and it's all shook up which is very fun it is the the songs of elvis presley and it's put to um, the Shakespearean story of um, Twelfth Night. There's, there, you know, there. She assumes the identity of a guy. To, you know, I don't know. So <laughs> it's, uh, it's just, it's all shook up. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, that will be fun. Yes, and you can find us on the web at centralkytheater.com and you can spell theater however you want and we're the first thing that pops up and that's us yeah. at the Opera House on Main Street in Springfield. Yes. So this weekend is the um, last uh, show mm -hmm. of The Mousetrap. Of Agatha Christie's Mousetrap. Um, A murder mystery yes. and I've heard it was fabulous. It is and it's also mm -hmm. it surprisingly got some really good belly laughs in it too. Yeah. The characters are so rich. Yeah. So good. So funny. And we, ha and uh, now th well, first I'll uh, mention that that will be on Saturday and, sa well, Friday night and Saturday night at 7. Right. And then Sunday matinee yes, at 2 o'clock. March 20th, 21st, and 22nd. Mm -hmm. So at the Opera um, House here where right. we're filming. Right. And it will be upstairs. Yes. And you can get your tickets not only online, but you can get them here at Springfield at Springfield State Bank at U.S. Bank in both Springfield and Loretto. In um, Lebanon, you can get them at Farmers National Bank. And in Bardstown, you can get them at All About Music on Bloomfield Road on your way headed out to the high school. So we can cover all of your bases. And also, the tickets are available an hour before the show here at the door at the Opera House. Mm -hmm. And there's parking on Main Street, and there's parking behind the building. And if you want to sweep someone off their feet, you can bring them to Springfield, go to Mordecai's, have a lovely dinner, walk across the street, and watch some fun theater. Right. right. All here in Springfield, and, Kentucky. And if they prefer to wait until after the show, to come to Mordecai's to have dinner. Uh, they'll be uh, uh, happy to see all the cast members there having dinner. Well, that's where we, <laughs> that's where the elite meet to eat. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> For our opening night shows. Yeah. And actually the cast has such a good time at Mordecai's, they like to go every Friday that the show runs. Yeah, yeah. So that's and the admission is, uh, I think, 12 for adults, for adults, um, ten dollars for seniors at sixty and up. Um, for students and students of all ages, just seven dollars, and kids three and under are free. Yes, and uh, they can also get a season pass. For um, yes, this this spring, as soon as we're working on getting our um, twenty fifteen sixteen uh, show season. 
We've mm -hmm. been working on that. And as soon as we announce that, we'll have more information on um, joining the theater, being a member, and also for the season tickets. Yes. So we'll keep you on the edge of your seats until we make that announcement. Oh. We'll make sure that, that Channel 6 is the first to know. And, and there are some um, nice benefits of being a season ticket holder. So sometimes some discounts on things. Well, you do just buying the mm -hmm. season tickets. Mm -hmm. You get a you get a discount. Now, if you get a membership, you also get to get um, free tickets to the gala, which is um, Springfield's answer to the Tony Awards, <laughs> and it's fun. We meet over at Mordecai's. It's the always the third Monday in June. We mm -hmm. meet over at Mordecai's and have a lovely buffet. And then we walk across Main Street on the red carpet. Right. With and the then, press there. Oh, and, yes. Um, the um, uh, Stop traffic security. And <laughs> oh, it's just wonderful. And yeah. then we um, go upstairs in the auditorium, and we have um, fond memories and performances of the shows from that season and sneak peeks of the next season. And mm -hmm. we have best actor, best actress. And right. the supporting actor and actress mm -hmm. and so on awards. And the your Genie children awards. have received some of those awards, Charlotte and um, your son, Wesley. Um, Wesley. And Gwendolyn. And Gwendolyn. Well, we have um, several of our youth actor alums that are going to college to pursue careers in acting. And then we have several that are still doing it on the side. Um, let's see, Jack Mannion is going to Northern Kentucky, and he's definitely he's definitely pursuing acting. Um, Charlotte Campbell um, has graduates this spring from um, University of Louisville with a degree in communication, but she's going to, she's been Jeannie at the Stephen Foster story for the last three years. And will be this summer? We don't know that yet. That'll be something else that we'll announce when it happens. <laughs> <laughs> she, she wants to go into acting, mm -hmm. so she's auditioning, which is, you know, you had to practice auditioning. Right, so right. That's what, that's what she's been doing, so we'll, mm -hmm. we'll find out what this, mm -hmm. you know, holds. At the very least, later in life, I'm sure we'll have some interesting trips to New York City, so. There you go. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we've got Bob Grider, who's oh, still. Oh, very talented. He's, gonna, he's mm -hmm. going into engineering. Yeah. <coughs> but still has acting in the uh, background. They there. all do. Right. They all do. And and several of these kids have not only come from Washington County, but they have come from uh, Marion, we Nelson. We draw from, yes, Marion, Nelson, as far as Taylor, Boyle. They, mm -hmm. they come to our program. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's And it's we've a good got program. some really talented uh, actors. I mean, yes. amazing. And we've added more to the youth actors. Um, they have classes now. We have some um, professors from the University of Louisville that oh. come and teach them characters, uh, movement. Uh, now, if someone's interested in uh, being involved with the theater, mm -hmm. how how do and, and or if they want to take acting classes or be a part of the youth uh, uh, group, how do they do that? If you want more information on Central Kentucky Community Theater. Just go to centralkytheater.com. It's our website. It has all different, um, very easy to navigate. You can point on auditions if you're interested in coming to play with us in the show. Um, you can, um, there's a page for the youth actor shows, and you can buy your tickets online, bluegrass kids information. There's also our telephone number. We're here in the Opera House, and it's in the phone book under Opera House. It's, the number is 859-336-5412. The theater is extension 4. And then if you want to talk to somebody live and in person, leave a message and we'll call you back. But definitely go online to centralkytheater.com. And if you are a Facebooker, mm -hmm. you can get us at Central KY Theater. Community okay. Theater. Central KY Community Theater on Facebook. Got to add a word for Facebook. So, but that keeps you up to date too. So they can start classes. Uh, <coughs> our classes. You have that in the summer. We're going to have a summer class. Summer right. class, and I'll I'll be so happy to come back and tell you about our 2015-16 season and our summer classes. And okay. All of that scoop. 
Yeah. That'll be fun. Well, great. Because the show's, the show's promising to be really exciting. What they're looking at so far is a swashbuckler musical with, you know, the swords and the capes and the damsel uh -huh. in distress. And that's for the youth actors. And I'll tell you more about that when we come back. But it's going to be so great. Beautiful music, fun story. Oh, that'd be great. Yes. So. Well, they are very entertaining. <coughs> and uh, we're just lucky to have you here, Eric and Bob, because I know you do so many different things with the theater. You, uh, you've been on the board, and we've got a very active and involved mm -hmm. board. Costumes, props. You do costumes, yeah. I've designed uh. sets in the back, dressed bodies and clothes and <laughs> furniture and um I mean, someone might want to be involved in the theater and just to... There's so there, many. I mean, there are some people that just <coughs> come and, like, help uh, make props. And sew. And, and sew. And sew, and, it's, mm -hmm. and it's, it's always... It's fun to sew and build for the theater because it has to look good. It doesn't have to be real. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so that's fun. I yeah. think the most um, fun show that we've done for costuming was Beauty and the Beast. Oh. With the, with the um, Lumiere, the candles. He was three top hats, and that turned out really well. I thought those costumes were great. Mm -hmm. I bet the feather duster and um, Mrs. Potts, the teapot. I thought we pulled those off, and our beast uh -huh. looked fabulous. This yeah. was, gosh, they were little. The kids were little then. <laughs> now well, all, all of the shows are fabulous. The, the you know, <coughs> the, the uh, costumes, everything is so authentic. The... Um, uh, the props, I mean, yeah. really unbelievable. Right, we've had how several people. sophisticated we are here. That's true. And we've had I several have to people brag on leaving us. saying that is as good as anything I could have seen in Louisville. It's the truth. So that's yeah. a nice compliment. Yeah. And, and, and we're lucky, good. too, in that we have uh, Will Davis, who is new to yes, our theater. Yes, we have three new directors. Mm -hmm. um, Will Davis has a uh, very impressive, impressive background. He's... Um, got a degree in theater from um, a British university. And um, Sue Lavinka runs now the Youth Actors. She um, has her degree from the University of Louisville. She, um, on the, in the other shows, in the main stage shows, she's also the um, stage manager. But her sets are mm -hmm. extreme. They're big. And um, we have um, Jolene Davis, who is a fabulous, um, fabulously gifted musician, and she teaches the, youth, the bluegrass kids. So they, she has this wonderful machine, Lisa, that's so much fun. The kids had such a great time with it that shows what um, note it is that you're hitting when you sing and how high and how low you can go. And the kids had a great time. Oh, so they're learning yeah. a lot. Yeah. They're, they're learning real things. The yeah. movement, facial expression, how to change to be different characters. Uh, of course, the memorization. And they're having fun with nice kids. It's theater is a team sport. Yes. So come play with us. Yes. Send your kids, and you come too. And we'll, uh, you know, I'll have a good time. Come this weekend <coughs> to see The Mousetrap. Yes. I'm looking forward. I haven't seen it. I've heard so much about it, and I'll be... I'll be down here Friday night to see it. So. We'll save you a seat. Well, thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that. Well, you're well connected. What can we do? <laughs> Erica, thank you so thank much you for so being much. here today. And I look forward to having you back and telling us about um, next season. Yes, that'll be great. Yes. I'll fill you in on all the scoop I know. Yes. Okay. Thank Got you. Got a hot date. <laughs> CentralKYTheater.com. Come play with us. <laughs>